Coulomb's Law. You got, uh, you got the force between two charges. Let's say you got a charge right here, this sucker's Q1, and you got a charge right here, and this sucker's Q2, and they're separated by some distance, right? And you're thinking that you want to know that force. That force is the electric force between two charges, and I suppose it's got some direction, but it's gonna be Kc, which is Coulomb's constant, some constant in the universe, times the quantity of charge on thing one, times the quantity of charge on thing two, divided by how far apart they are squared. And which way does it point? I guess if the two charges are the same, then it points in opposite directions. It points away from the other one, so that's gonna be in the R hat direction. All right, fair enough. But uh, Coulomb's law is amazingly big. It's an amazingly big force because Kc is 8.99 times 10 to the ninth. Wow. That's a really big number, and I guess it's got some units that give it force out of all this stuff. So it's gonna have Newtons here, then we're gonna have to divide by Coulombs squared, it's capital C, and then we're gonna have to multiply by meter square over here to get ourselves back into Newtons when we're all finished. And I'm just, I'm thinking that this force looks a lot like another force that I know. So, here we go. Let us recall that gravitational force is capital G times the mass of thing one times the mass of thing two divided by how far apart they are square. And I'm not particularly interested in the direction at this point. I think that will just cloud the issue. But remember that capital G, oh my gosh, look at the similarities between these two equations. This is appalling. Oh, nature, you are so beautiful. Now, if you look at the similarity between these two suckers, you might be inclined to find the ratio of the electric force to the gravitational force for, let's say, an electron and a proton. You got some electron right here, and you got a proton right over here. Cool. So I'm gonna take these two suckers, and I'm gonna plug in some numbers and just see what we get. The gravitational force is capital G times M1 times M2 over R square. How far do we wanna have them separated? You wanna have them separated by the typical distance that they're separated in an atom, like uh, a hydrogen atom. So we'd have to say that this is 0. Uh, 0. 0.529 times 10 to the, well, 10 to the 10th, negative 10th. That's uh, a half an angstrom. 10 to the negative 10th is an angstrom. And then we'll take that distance and uh, plug it into right here. So when you run through all that stuff using this six point, uh, oh gosh, what is it? 6.67 times 10 to the 11th Newton squared, Newton meter squared per kilogram squared. And then you run through all that business right there, I'm getting 3.63 times 10 to the negative 47th Newtons. That's a very small force, but maybe you're not too disappointed in that because it involves what? a very, very, very small mass. The electron is accelerating because of the gravitational force, or wait, maybe the electron is accelerating because of the electric force. So let's do that calculation right here. The electric force, force electric between the electron and the proton at the distance of a hydrogen atom, that's typical, is going to be Kc times the quantity of charge one, the quantity of charge two over R squared. Each of those charges is the same, so we're gonna get Q1 equals Q2, I'm gonna say absolute value. So we're a little bit more careful, and we're gonna find the forces attractive because they have opposite sign. Of course, you know that opposites attract. 1.60 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. We plug those numbers in and we multiply by 8.99 times 10 to the ninth, and we divide by that distance, which is a small, admittedly a small distance right there, square, and we get 8.22 times 10 to the negative eighth Newtons. Now I want you to notice that this is a lot bigger than that. In fact, if I divide them, let's do that in black because this is sort of, this is sort of a bold thing. If I divide the force electric by the force gravitational on, um, let's see, let me make sure I write this, between electron and proton in hydrogen atom, then I'm going to get this ratio. The ratio turns out to be 2.26 times 10 to the, get ready, 39th. And it's unitless because it's the ratio of those two forces. So what if I were to write it out for you? I would go 2 comma 2 
six, zero, oh, and then I'd start putting some zeros down, and I guess I need three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many am I gonna do here? Holy cow, I'm gonna need, well, minus that right there, I'm gonna need something like, oh gosh, one, two, three, I have uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Wow, that's a lot bigger. I'll put an exclamation point right there. If I were to pronounce this, I would probably say it's 2.26 thousand billion, 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 billion. Wow. And guess what? It doesn't have anything to do with the separation because you'll find that you're dividing by the same separation regardless of whether you're talking about the gravitational force or the electric force. It's just what it is. So a lot of people would be wondering why the gravitational force is so weak. It turns out that the electric force is not particularly strong, it's just the gravitational force is pathetically weak. Did I say 2.26 thousand billion 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 times weaker? Yeah, that's a lot weaker. So some people think that gravity exists over here in another plane of the multiverse over here. This is the gravity plane and everybody over there has really, really strong gravity, but we're over here and we've got this weak connection to that. This is us hanging out over here and maybe we don't really need to go into brain theory, but um, you could, uh, <laughs> yeah, there, that's a brain now. Okay, so um, why is gravity so weak? I don't know, go ask your dad. It is really weak though. That's a fundamental question that you guys should answer.